Okay, the octahedron. Um, we've come in, we've marked our, they're called octants, the, the eight um, segments, four on the top, four on the bottom of the sphere. And we found the centres, and those centres, there are eight of them, I've started labelling opposite one, one is opposite one, two, opposite two, three, opposite three, and four, opposite four. So that's our pairs of faces for the octagon. And I've just come in with a, uh, get the right thing in my hand, a compass. Now, the centres are the six, sorry, the eight centres, yeah, eight, four, eight faces, octahedron. And drawn a circle out to the six, so the the radius is from the centre to the the uh, six points. You know the the crossing points of the the uh, octants. Drawn a circle round on every single one, and those are our cutting lines, which will become clear. So we can put this these safely between centres because it's going to be turned away so we don't have to worry about damaging this the centres if we need to keep if the points are we need to keep the points we can't damage them like this so I can drive in the centre because we know right and now you can see those circles we've created have, created a, two parallel lines which are our cutting lines we cut outside the lines obviously um, if I could see my thick pen I would not yeah, it is and this is exactly the same almost as cutting that stellar octa octangular um, Except we're we're not leaving the the we're turning away the points what would have been the uh, stellations so that's where we're gonna stick the part into all that's on centres well I think I've got it on centre two I should have started on centre one it doesn't matter you've just got to do that four times and you end up with your octahedron it's getting simpler this is. And exactly the same for the the uh, cube, except on the cube we're using the six points rather than the eight, and we're drawing our circles out to the eight points. If you see what I mean, that, the cube faces. Um, but it's exactly the same. You'll end up looking at two pairs of parallel lines, and that's where you're cutting. And it, it really is that simple. For, and even the, the dodecahedron is that simple. So once your head gets around this problem, it's, it does become an easy problem. So I'll cut some of those and come back. Well, I've cut two. And something else we've got to do as we go along. Let me get my blue pen. Out of the compass. We don't want to lose track of because we've just cut away a lot of the lines we need so like there is one centre to there we need to join all these up there to there and there to there yeah we need to join all these up so that we don't uh, lose track this one's, I think, so, so maybe it's because I've understood this problem better now, but this seems really easy at this point. So join all those up and then move on to the next pair, which I'll be number one. Yeah, you can see now, you'll see. I've just dropped that ruler, lovely. What happened to that? Oh, it's in my hand. 
Right, this is what I mean. That line there. Oh, I'll, I should really take those down a bit further. Is parallel to the, the other circle, if you see what I mean. It'd be the same on the other side. That line there. Is parallel to that line there so our cutting points are outside of those two lines so I'll mark those up and then we just keep working around doing this Oh, the nubbies, I'm going to take down smaller than that as well. I'm going to take them down to 13mm to fit a collet. Not that I'll need it. I think I'm going to end up sawing them off like with the tetrahedron. But there we go. I'll just do that one. That was really quick. I'll just keep working around and come back at the end see left my point left my point right on bang on bang on the points there so looking good right last pair I'm leaving these really thin, I'm pretty sure now. Oh, look at that. I've got to take another cut there. You could pr practically turn these away with the skew until you're leaving just enough to drive the shape. You're nearly there tail stop pressure try and concentrate on keeping those faces square So 
have a look yep you can see it so all I've got to do now is just saw the little I could have left them a lot smaller than that I guess another three mil off those I'll saw those off and come back and there we go one octahedron needs a little clean up now touch up get rid of that bluing shouldn't have gone so close to the line with that blue water was blue because it sinks into the wood a bit much a uh, little bit of a clean up with some uh, 240 grit 120 and 240 and uh, it's a little bit loose that one because that sphere was slightly undersized and I just wanted to see if I could compensate and it's okay looks great thanks for watching